Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today we're talking about how VR can benefit you in part one, VR fitness. Let's go! Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. Scoosh. My name is Lazius K, and today we're going to be talking about how VR can benefit you in part one VR fitness. So maybe you're at home, you have to stay at home, for example, during the coronavirus, you can't go out and you want to do some exercise at home or you just like to do exercise from home. So today we're going to explore the various different apps that can track your calories and all these kind of things. And also, of course, the VR apps that you can use, but also some technology used in the industry that will help you during your VR fitness program. So let's go. Now the VR Essentials channel, we've covered some VR fitness videos before, which I'll put a link in the description below. We also traveled to the Far East where we worked with the Youth Boxing Olympic team of China in providing some programs using VR to see whether it would help for the training of the next Olympics. Over the years, there have been numerous studies conducted, including one by the Journal of Human Sports and Exercise who are based in the US, who split the candidates in half, putting them some with the VR headset, some without to do some rowing or some cycling or various other sports. And they found that the candidates with the VR headset had higher heart rate when doing exercises and also more motivation to want to do the sport longer as they were immersed in the VR experiences. The report is in the link description below. There's a cool platform online called VR Fitness Insider, which talk about all the aspects of VR fitness. And they also have a beginner's guide to the VR fitness. So definitely worth checking out their website. They bring a lot of information about different VR experiences, VR reviews, and what's going on in the VR fitness industry. If you haven't had the opportunity to try VR, but you're still curious, you need to understand that the moment you put a VR headset on, you will be fully immersed in an alternative reality, which means that even though if you use a app that is non-fitness based, you might also get a lot of fitness value out of it. But today we're going to focus purely on the VR fitness apps. Before I share with you the VR apps that are available that specialize in VR fitness, let's talk a little bit more about what apps are available to track your calories. <music> In 2017, the Virtual Reality Institute of Health and Exercise was launched by various different doctors who came together to try and understand within a cutting edge lab the impact of calories of the human body when wearing a virtual reality headset. Since then, they managed to develop a tracker working with various different partners which enable you to download an app and track the amount of calories that you're losing using almost every single app. So there is a link in the description below to their website that leads directly to all these various different partners which their technology is compatible with. Eura is another company that developed an app which you can download, which tracks all your different calories when you're in VR. Currently, they support all various different types of headsets from the Quest to HTC, Cosmos, Windows, Mixed Reality, and more. Currently in the VR fitness market, there are two principal agencies that focus on developing Bluetooth trackers and also software that enables you to be fully immersed whilst you're conducting a VR fitness activity. The first company is called Holofit, which developed Holodia. Holodia enables you to be completely immersed in VR whilst you have a tracker on, a, for example, a home bike or a home rowing machine. So you're able to travel around in these different worlds in virtual reality whilst you're getting the exercise as well. VR Fits is another company which is quite popular, which provides these kind of immersive VR experiences whilst you're actually doing your exercise by using a Bluetooth tracker, which you would put on your home bike, for example. The services include also the ability to have a virtual coach so you don't feel like you're doing VR fitness on your own, as well as multiplayer time attack specific cardio exercises and more. Both Holodia and VR Fits provide these services at a cost there will be a subscription link in the description below to their website. Cyber Shoes is another cool manufacturer who came out with a really cool concept, which is all about walking in VR whilst you're sitting down. The benefit of Cyber Shoes is you can get to play some really cool VR experiences, which aren't created specifically for VR fitness, but you still get to move your entire body. So just imagine it's just like the real world. If you're walking one kilometer, then you might be walking one kilometer in VR. So that's great VR fitness for you. If you're looking to do some VR fitness, of course, you're going to need a VR headset. There are two major brands leading the pack at the moment. The leading brand is Oculus. They came out with two very cool VR headsets. One is called the Oculus Go, which provides three degrees of freedom, which basically enables you to move your head left and right, up and down, and also are compatible with some of the VR apps and hardware Bluetooth trackers, which we spoke about earlier, and also the Oculus Quest, which they came out with 
very recently last May, which provides six degrees of freedom, enabling you to bend in VR, walk in VR, and be completely immersed. Another manufacturer who provides an array of different VR headsets, which are standalone and wireless, which means no cables attached to any computers, is DPVR. They came out with the P1 4K Pro quite recently, which has a stronger chip than the Oculus Quest, which includes the XR1 by Qualcomm. When you're looking to choose a VR headset that's right for you, do be mindful of a few things. If there are different manufacturers out there who provide you the flexibility to be able to change certain accessories, for example, the facial replacement interface, because the one that comes with the actual VR headset might not be comfortable, or it might be too big or too small, or it might not actually be the right one for a VR fitness activity. You may want to know that whilst you're doing your research that different VR headset manufacturers provide different ways to actually purchase or get hold of those different VR fitness games or VR fitness app experiences. For the Oculus, it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is go to the Oculus store and purchase them directly from there. For DPVR, you might have to get a subscription to a platform called Viveport, which enables you to download X amount of games every single month. For the Oculus Quest, there's another platform called SideQuest, and there's also another one called Steam, which is compatible with most VR headsets, including the DPVR. All right, so we spoke about some of the Bluetooth technology and trackers available, as well as the apps that can track your calories and the various different VR headsets that you can purchase. Now let's actually talk about the actual VR apps that you can download. Here's my top picks. Starting the countdown, let's talk about rhythm-based fitness app experiences. Rhythm VR is basically a cross combination between music, arcade, and fitness all put together. The most popular one, which was bought recently by Oculus, is called Beat Saber. Beat Saber provides you the ability to basically chop some blocks with some lightsabers, you can change all the colors, have your own custom songs, and you'll be getting to do this in VR 360, so you'll be turning around as the game goes along. <laughs> Box VR, which is probably the toughest VR fitness app at the moment on the market, you'll get sweating like hell for sure within 15 to 20 minutes. Get to punch at your heart's desire, upload your own songs, which also makes the VR experience more fun. Standing at third position is O Shape. O Shape provides a different type of VR experience. You get to move your entire body. It's really entertaining and really good fun. You can also upload your own songs. By the way, I did a full review on this link in the description below. And if you watch that video before March 31st, you can enter to win a free key. If you want a different type of experience, which is a little bit more psychedelic and a bit more musical, then I definitely suggest Synth Riders as well. <laughs> Other type of VR experience that you can enjoy are those that use a racket. In this category and the one that you'll get the most workout out of will be Racket NX. Racket NX is a combination of feeling like you're inside a pinball machine and playing futuristic squash. You get to hit the ball as hard as you can to score points and it's also multiplayer so that's really good fun. Standing at number two would be Eleven Table Tennis VR. This VR experience has been out on various different other platforms but recently came out on the Oculus Quest. Now, if you're using the Quest version, it's not as graphically intensive as its brothers on the PC VR, and also you can't use as many different environments. Do check the link description below because I did a full review on this specific app that I think you might enjoy. All right, let's move on to the boxing category. Starting off the countdown is Creed. Creed is based on the Rocky movie franchises, and it's really good fun. It's got a kind of an arcade feel, but at the same time, it feels pretty realistic, and you really get to give some really cool punches and have really good fun. Oh, mama forgot. And number two, we have Thrill of the Fight. This VR experience provides something a little bit more down to earth. It's much less arcade compared to Creed, for example. A lot of people really enjoy this game, so definitely worth checking out. Oh. If you're looking for a VR boxing experience, which is a little bit more arcadey and feels more like a game than purely something fitness, then I think the knockout lead will be really good fun for you. The characters are a little bit more like animation and they're very stylized, so definitely good gameplay there. Before I share with you my final thoughts on VR fitness and how VR can help you, I just want to give a quick shout out to all those who went to watch and comment on one of the previous videos, which is all about the different VR YouTubers and YouTube channels that talk about VR. You guys are awesome. Remember to leave a comment below so I can give you a shout out in the next video. Oh, I know it hurts. And finally, if dancing is more your thing, because dancing also equally provides good cardio and good toning to the body, then I definitely suggest Dance Central. Thanks. There are plenty more other VR fitness apps that are available on the market. If you are an avid VR fitness fan, do leave a comment below and let us know which VR apps you use that might not be featured in today's video. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe, share this video so that you and I, together we can grow the community and help as many people, as many people in VR, because ultimately that is what it's all about. 
All right, until next time, take it easy. And as always, DJ, take it away. Woo!